it's a Sunday morning and it's beautiful out here. There's a breeze blowing from right now. It's a tailwind. I mean, it's helping me. This is my first ride with this road bike since we got home from Germany and uh, I don't even know where I'm gonna go. I, I, I took the drone with me. So yeah, if you want to join me, I'll be popping in and out. All right. Well, I just got out of Edmonton. It's, uh, it took me 12 and a half kilometers and probably, I didn't look at the clock or nothing, but uh, about a half hour of uh, navigating difficult roads. Because there are sometimes shared pathways, then they stop, then you're stuck in a lane uh, with no facility for bicycle whatsoever and impatient drivers. So one thing I miss about Germany Already, right now, today, <laughs> first ride on the road bike, are those separated uh, roadways that are you know, outside of uh, little towns and stuff where, uh, yeah, there are, there are cars prohibited unless they are for agricultural purposes. There are a lot of lawbreakers there, but even with that, the traffic there is kind of negligible. Uh, Edmonton is a big city, I understand that. Big cities should have infrastructure for everyone. Pedestrians, cyclists, motorists too. But first of all, there should be also a good transit system, an LRT that people love to take, and uh, a bus system that connects you to everywhere the LRT does not go. Enough. I'm gonna ride the bike. I wasn't gonna do this, uh, turn this into a rant. Today's ride follows Range Road 240, just going straight north. I was having a grand old time. It's just fantastic. It's September. Beautiful, beautiful day. Okay, I'm at. Uh, I'm now at uh, somewhere in Bonacord. There's a park here, sports arena, school. You know, I think I found the perfect place to uh, fly my drone. You know, take off from here. There's a little hill behind me. I don't know if that's uh, clear. See. Uh, I'm about 30 something kilometers outside of Edmonton, so once I turn around, that's what I gotta do. But uh, just over on the other side there, there's a grain elevator. I like those, and I wanna try the quick shots on that thing, you know, see if I can get uh, a nice, uh, you know, surround of the, the thing from up above. Anyways, there's no restricted area around here. I don't know if I have any business in this ghoul park, but the gate's open. I don't think there's an issue. So, yeah. I hope you enjoy my drone footage. It's uh, showing right now and I haven't done it yet. So, uh, hopefully it'll get good. And it did turn out quite good. So, check it out and if you enjoy this footage, I will post it on the site pixabay.com and perhaps also on pexels.com and once I do so there will be links added to the description and guess what? At this point I'm not a professional drone pilot. I might have aspirations for that for the future but at the moment I'm just honing my skills. So on Pixabay, you can download this footage for free. So if you need drone footage of a grain elevator, it's all yours. Uh, by the way, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel. So there you go, little trade.
so there you go. I rode about 30 something kilometers for getting some footage of a grain elevator. Call that crazy? Uh, I think I got some nice footage. It's a uh, pleasure riding in this weather. And now I'm just gonna hop on the bike and go back home. And then make potato pancakes for Barbara and I. And if you want to know how I make the potato pancakes, you know, I actually have a video about that. Find it. <laughs> it's good. Well, I just come through the town of Gibbons. And now I'm going back on to the Highway 28, uh, is, uh, 28A. And I'm going back toward Edmonton. And <laughs> I don't know how far that is from here. Okay, after a relatively big detour, I'm back here. I'm uh, on one of my favorite trails in the Edmonton area. Can't even see my eyes, eh? <laughs> they're here. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna record this little stretch here because it's one of my favorite ones. And uh, that means I have to have one hand off the handlebars. Shouldn't be too bad. So this is 88 and a half kilometers later. Yeah, it was a tough one at the end because the wind was blowing from the wrong direction. But I shouldn't say it that way because it actually helped me quite a bit along the way. My average speed for this bike ride was 22.2 kilometers. That's pretty fast. Anyways, uh, it's time to go in there, drink more water because I've been out a long time ago and uh, make the potato pancakes. That's gonna be awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you could, if you care to do so. And I need supporters, I need subscribers. So maybe you can do that too. Thank you.